All right, let's move on to the second email today. And the second email today comes to us from Trevor Thornley, who writes, with the news on Comcast placing a deal uh, to buy Fox, does Disney still acquire the comic book properties from Fox? Everybody's worrying that X-Men and Fantastic Four might not be going to Marvel Studios, but Marvel Studios owns those rights. Okay, look, this has come up many, many, many times, but I keep getting people asking literally every day, I'm getting this question. No matter how many times I address it, I get this every day. So it does bear repeating one more time. The question is, if Comcast gets Fox, doesn't X-Men and uh, Fantastic Four all go back to Marvel anyway, since Fox doesn't have the, the right to sell the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four to anybody else? So doesn't that just automatically mean they would revert back to Disney? The answer to that is no. And here's why. If Comcast buys Fox and breaks Fox up and tries to sell off various assets of Fox, then yes, the rights to X-Men and Fantastic Four would automatically revert back to Disney. However, if Comcast buys Fox and just keeps Fox intact and lets Fox continue to operate and make their movies and all that kind of stuff, they just own them now, they just have a new ownership, then X-Men and Fantastic Four all stay with Fox, regardless if they have a new owner or not. Here's the illustration I've been given before, and I'll give it here again. Tom Brady, the quarterback of the New England Patriots, he has a contract with the New England Patriots. The New England Patriots are owned by Robert Kraft. If somebody comes along and buys the New England Patriots from Robert Kraft, let's say I, let's say I buy the New England Patriots from Robert Kraft, and now I own the New England Patriots, that doesn't change anything for Tom Brady. His contract is with the New England Patriots. It doesn't matter who owns the New England Patriots. Tom Brady has a contract with the New England Patriots and the New England Patriots are still intact and still operating. Therefore, even though there's a new owner, it doesn't matter. He still has a contract with the New England Patriots. If Comcast comes along and buys Fox and keeps Fox intact and just keeps operating as it is, then the rights to, to X-Men and Fantastic Four stay exactly where they are. Now, if they break up Fox and they try to do different things, yeah, there are scenarios there in which Fantastic Four and X-Men would revert back to Disney, but the reality exists that if Comcast buys Fox, keeps it intact, and just owns and operates them, then nothing changes. They stay with Fox. So there's, there's this misnomer out there that no matter what happens, X-Men and Fantastic Four are going back to Disney, and that's not true. There are scenarios in which that will happen, but there are also scenarios in which it doesn't happen. So we're just gonna have to sit back and wait and see how that all kind of uh, works out and see how this deal thing works out at all. I mean, it's just, this thing's getting so convoluted, it's crazy. All right, let's move on now to the final email question of the day. 